hey, hey there, pedal people. It's the pedal guy here. How you doing? Today we are going to do pedal versus pedal. And in this video, we're going to put the new X metal core up against the boss metal zone. But before you get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. So if you're wondering why we're doing this, well, um, simply put, we have a finite amount of these metal core distortion pedals in stock. Uh, the new version is now called the Metal Core Deluxe. And aside from the fact that it's got a uh, noise gate built into it, it's pretty much the same uh, pedal. So what we wanted to do is kind of put this little pedal up against one of the standards of heavy metal, uh, which is the Metal Zone. Um, great pedal, definitely don't have anything against it at all. Um, but we think that there's a lot of value here that you may not be aware of. So we felt, well, what the heck, let's give it a shot and let's see if, uh, what you think. So um, we hope that we can make this a series and we'd like to continue doing these pedal versus pedal videos. So if you really dig it, make sure that you uh, comment down below in the video description because we'd love to hear from you. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and meet our contenders. All right, so now that you've gotten to know our two contenders here, let's go through the signal chain real quick so you know what we're doing. We're going from a Gibson Explorer with a high gain pickup straight to the metal zone. From there, it's going to the metal core, and from there, it's going to a hot tone purple wind. From there, it's going to an isolation cabinet from Axe Track, um, and from there, it's going to go straight to the mixing board. And we're using just a tiny little bit of reverb behind it just to give it a little extra ambience. So without further ado, let's get to know our contenders. So let's go ahead and get that regular signal here first. So let me bring up the guitar. One of the cool things about the Metal Zone pedal is that in the box, it does come with some suggested presets. So we're going to take those suggested presets and we're going to come up with a close approximation with the Metal Core so that we can do a comparison uh, between the two. So uh, this one is the Heavy Metal setting.
Now, in some cases, we're going to be able to get really close to the same sound between the two pedals. Um, but in some cases, and this is a really good example of not having all of the tweakability that we need on the metal core, the one thing that the metal zone does have is it has that mid uh, sweep, the, the mid sweep, so that you can uh, really sculpt out a sound for yourself. You can really get in there with a scalpel. Now, there is something on the metal core that can help a little bit with this, which is the second voice. Uh, because there are two voices on this pedal. So if we go to the second voice with the same setting, it's probably not going to sound all that good, but um, here's the, the original sound. Now if, we go to, now if we go down to voice two. That's not quite there, but if we started dialing it in, it, give, it uh, produces kind of that mid-sweep. Um, although it's, it's a hard setting, so you can't change it from there. But anyway, let's move on to the next uh, preset. All right, well that just about wraps it up here for our pedal versus pedal. Um, as you can tell from listening to the two pedals, uh, that they have a lot of similar characteristics between them. Um, the Boss pedals have always had that specific type of sound to them. Uh, and it has a buffer bypass over to the metal core. This one has a true bypass 
but it also has uh, two voices as well. So while it doesn't have the mid sweep that the metal zone has, and that's a very good feature indeed, um, this does have a uh, second voice that does kind of get you to that same sort of area. Uh, and also the other thing that this got is tone lock. So once you're set with your with your settings, you just simply go and hit the tone lock. And now if you make any adjustments when you turn it on, it won't affect the settings at all. So that's kind of a neat feature for the live player. But for more information on these pedals and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.